like any technology, uh, any new approach or way of thinking, there are challenges. Uh, and uh, again, reports and news can be correct, wrong or misleading. It depends. But I'm, I'm sure this you agree that there are pros and cons to every approach. So when it comes to this particular approach, like, for example, say they say, you know, building solar parks can affect regional temperatures. Uh, just the mining of it, the sourcing of raw materials. From all those perspectives, uh, how what, what are some of the cons that you see? And uh, again, I agree that maybe those cons may be like, you know, your your perfect comment that live within the means uh, may mitigate that. But can you highlight some of the major ones and, you know, how, how to go about it? Well, I mean, uh, Harsh, definitely uh, there'll be always pros and cons and uh, every uh, technology ha have its own side effect. So does the solar, you know. And, and therefore, uh, when I say people, you know, uh, switch, uh, surrender electricity connection and switch to 100% solar, I ask them to follow a particular step-by-step -step method of doing it, you know. So I call that it AMG, you know, follow the AMG steps, you know. A is avoid use of energy as much as possible, even if it is solar energy. So I tell people, don't use solar energy also. That is the best thing. Because to produce silicon, to make solar modules, you need glass, you need wires, you need frames, structure. All of them also consume the energy and will have some side effect and some mining has to be done. Some recycling has to be done 25 years later. And therefore, best thing is avoid the use of energy as much as possible, even if it is solar energy. And uh, how much you should avoid? In my uh, recommendation, you should avoid one third use of energy. Whatever you are consuming today, one third you should avoid. And when I started looking at my own home, uh, uh, I could figure out that refrigerator can be avoided. You know? uh, how it can be avoided? What is the most perishable item that we keep in refrigerator? That is milk, right? Many villages and millions and millions of households still today do not have the refrigerator, but they they have the cows and buffaloes at home, which means that without refrigerator, we have been managing milk and we can manage milk. You know? Just boil it twice in a day, that's it. And it will it will be all right. Keeping the fruits and vegetables in the fridge uh, is anyway not a good idea. Doctor keeps saying that you know you have to keep, eat it fresh. Food is definitely not a good idea because uh, you know the the, uh, the energy of the food or what is called tamasic energy of the food increases when you do this. And therefore, in India also, there is a very famous saying, Jesa Anna Vesa Man, right? So if your food is tamasic, your mind is going to be like that. So from all good reasoning, we should avoid using refrigerator. And at my home in IIT Mumbai, since last three years, we are not using it. Uh, uh, solar, water heating, water heating and air conditioning should not be done. You know? Because water heating by electricity uh, and uh, running air conditioning is almost like a crime. And I'm using word crime. Why? Because when once you run your geyser for one hour or your AC for one hour, it results in one unit of electricity consumption. And that one unit is responsible for emitting one kilogram of carbon dioxide. In this one kilogram of carbon dioxide, when it goes to the atmosphere, it remains there for 200, 300 to 400 years. years. So once your comfort of one hour of AC or your comfort your comfort of one bath, you have to be discom. You have to face the discomfort for 200, 300, 400 years. It doesn't make sense at all. So that's why this is really criminal from that perspective. And therefore, best thing is avoid one third. Next thing is minimize by one third, another one third, <coughs> by using efficient appliances. So there are very efficient appliances available in the market. Like I mean, LED is our best example. But similarly, there are fans available rather than the normal fan. Use BLDC fan. You know, you can reduce your energy consumption by 50 to 60 percent. Refrigerator should be avoided. But if at all using, you know, don't use three doors and four doors. You know, use a simple small five star rated refrigerator. If at all you have to use AC, you know, AC is not cooling you. AC is cooling roof. AC is cooling walls. AC is cooling you know, your floor. So therefore. Cool a smaller space, use a smaller AC, use five star rated AC. If you follow this measure, your electricity consumption will go down by another one third. So one third you avoid, one third you minimize, and the remaining one third only you generate. So your generation has to be only one third. 
and when you follow this principle i call it amg when you follow amg you can avoid saying omg oh my god solar is expensive and uh, there is not rooftop space and there is no policy now but when you follow this you will be i believe will, will be within the tolerance limit of any system right every system is a tolerance limit and uh, the solar should be done in this particular manner but if you do it blindly and if you overuse solar energy technology then i'm sure 30 years down the line there'll be another problem of recycling and this and that as a result uh, uh, we are solving one problem but we'll create another problem so let us follow and do it in systematic manner so that we don't have to face really the side effect of using solar energy too much in in, in india there is a, another saying now so chuve kha ke billi haj ko chali you know if you have a lot of money and put so much lot of solar panel on your rooftop that's not a good idea because now so chuve kha ke billi haj ko chali by the time you already put it you already consume so much resources on this planet which is not a really good idea absolutely